Today we're going to be doing the Days Gone Skiing Group by Simon Phillips for Toto. This is going to be a series and this is the first one of the series in which I'm going to be playing the, the groove as Simon plays it and we're going to be doing some other things with it in the, the coming lessons. Let's play this groove so slowly at 75. The basic groove is in 9-8, so you want to count it as uh, 16th notes 9-8, it's going to be, if you count 1-E e and A, it's going to be 1-E e and A, 2-E e and A, 3-E e and A, 4-E e and A, 5 and 1-E e and A, 2-E e and A, 3-E e and A, 4-E e and A, 5-E, 1-E. I like to count it as 1 to nut, 2 to nut, 3 to nut, 4 to nut, 5 to 1 to nut, 2 to nut, 3 to nut, 4 to nut, 5 to 1 to nut, 2 to nut, 3 to nut. And on the basic groove, as you can see in, um, in exercise 1, uh, it's going to be with uh, the bass drums on the, the first and last of beat one, and then the, the last of beat two, last of beat three, last of beat four, and then a snare drum on five instead of four. So it's not going to be a back, backbeat on two and four as we're, we're used to, but it's going to be on two and five. And if you play that, then you have the basic groove going like. And that's, that's the basis already. And we play this along with the, with the MIDI at a slower tempo of 75. You'll hear it sounds kind of funny when I try to play the, the, the syncopated bass drum as a normal one. But besides that, the accents in the, in the fourth bar are going to be different. We're going to be practicing them next. But other than that, it's going to sound pretty okay. So it doesn't sound too bad as it is. Then next exercise two, we're gonna add the fourth bar, fourth bar accents. You, uh, you already heard me play that the, the first time around. Um, and we're gonna play the last one as the 5E as a snare snare in the fourth bar. So it's gonna sound a little more musical already. Here we go.
So it's gonna sound, it's sounding more like the original already. Now we're gonna go to exercise three and we're gonna add the displaced um, accent on um, the, the first beat of uh, bar three, which is displaced to the five E of the second bar. And then you have uh, more or less uh, the, the skeleton of the, of the groove complete as it is. Playing again with a MIDI at 75. Now the next one, we're gonna add the open hi-hats and then we're basically there. So you just need to get that up to speed and, and then you're pretty much there. And then I have some exercises for you, which you can do to, to get things um, happening with the, the stickings Simon chooses. And let's not forget what it's all about and that is the, the rhythmic melody of the whole tune. You can see it is one big um, collection of band hits re really. Everyone is playing in unison. So once you get the, the, the four bar riff in nine eight, and you, you can count it, you can feel it, and you can also hear where the melody, uh, which, which notes to hit, um, then you can start playing around it as well. So let's focus on that one now. So exercise six is the rhythmic melody, and you see one, not the two, the, the four, the not the one, the not the two, the, the four, the nut, the two, the three, the four, the five, the one, the nut, the two, the three, the four, the five, da 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 and you can play it as well as, as I notated in, in exercise seven. You can play it as a single stroke on hi hat, for instance, and and you just play the accents. So one, not the two, the the four, the not the five, the not the two, the the four, the not the five, the one. Let's play it along with the melody as well. Let's look at some exercises for this groove. And 1A, you got the stepped hi-hat, syncopated accent, or displaced accent, a groove as an exercise. So you go. And 
make it make sure that you can play it up to speed so speed it up gradually so nice to make a groove out of it for instance um, So if you have enough headroom with this, then you can move on to the next. The one beat pattern is with a bass drum added in between. So you got the... And again, speed it up. was alternating there between 1A and 1B, can do that as well, or just 1B. Speed it up as much as you would like, as long as you have enough headroom, enough reserve. Now let's go to the displaced syncopated bass drum and open hi-hat accent, so exercise two, that would be a closed hi-hat, and two ghost notes with the left hand. Simon plays it reversed, of course, but... Step hi-hat, ghost note, ghost note, and then open hi-hat with a bass drum. That's it, so... Might be easier to, to play it as a stepped hi-hat with the heel up. So you go, if you play it slowly, then it doesn't work. The high is, is open uh, too late. So you get a, a muffled sound. And so if you want an open high at slower tempos, you have to play heel down. It's, it's just way easier without disrupting the balance too much. But if you go faster, then you can go like a step to hi-hat. So you go, Or you can do it uh, along with, uh, the, so the, the 2B is going to be... And 2C is going to be a combination of 2A and 2B, so you go... quicker and then the third one is going to be the, the same permutation or the same uh, syncopated bass drum and open hi-hat accent just permutated as used in the fourth bar of this groove so you go And that's it really. You just need to uh, uh, practice these um, up to tempo, up to speed. And once you do that and you get comfortable with the 9-8 and with the sticking Simon uses with the melody and the counting and all, or I mentioned that already. But if, when you get used to everything, then you'll, you'll, 
you'll feel the, the puzzle coming together really. It's all just bits and pieces and all of a sudden you get an idea of that the framework is in here, but you, you got to practice the, to, to get the puzzles feeling or the, the pieces of the puzzle feeling like they belong to this puzzle. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one because this is going to be a series as mentioned before and there are going to be lots more cool things going on with this groove. So stay tuned. If you can't wait though, um, be sure to apply for a premium membership. Uh, this is part of the odd time signature uh, course which is in the premium membership on skills drum lessons. I'll put in the link below and um, if you can't wait then I'll put everything up there and there's lots more there. So. Now, go practice.